Now, a state witness in the attempted murder case against two farmers in the Kroblesdal Magistrates Court says he fears for his life. The court also heard that one of the accused, Piet Grunewald, has previous convictions for murder and attempted murder. Grunewald and his son, Stefan Gierf, are accused of setting dogs on an employee. Yeah, the bail application has been postponed to next week for further investigations. Limpopo Premier Stan Matabata was joined by Ministers Begit Gele and Ronald Lamola, who attended yesterday's proceedings. Newsroom Africa's Muli Masilela has more. 63-year-old Piet Kronewald and 27-year-old Stefan Schreff took to the Hroblestal Magistrates Court dock to present their case on why they should be granted bail. Their initial charge was for assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, but it later changed to attempted murder. Their lawyer told the court that the case was bogus. He read affidavits of his clients. The complainant was visibly drunk, aggressive and arrogant. He was also armed with a panga and pickaxe handle. He threw the pickaxe handle at me and the dog outside the control room. Although he missed me, he did hit the dog. I picked up the pickaxe handle to keep the complainant from using it as a weapon against any person present. The complainant still had a panga and threatened to attack us. I approached the complainant to calm him down. But before I could reach him, the security dog broke loose and stopped him from attacking us. We managed to get the dog under control. I never assaulted the complainant in any manner. Van Weyck also revealed that accused number two, Piet Kronewald, has previous convictions. But that doesn't mean he shouldn't be released on bail. I do have previous convictions. In 2002 I was convicted on two counts of murder and one of attempted murder. I committed these offences in the execution of my duties as a soldier. I served the prison sentence for the convictions. After my release and parole, I received amnesty for these convictions. The state maintains that the accused shouldn't be granted bail. Their argument was followed by that of the investigating officer. The first person who called the witness indicated that if the witness tried to go and give with, uh, evidence before court, he would be killed. The ministers of justice and correctional services and police were in the court gallery calling for calm after violent incidents during the previous court appearance. We believe that we just need to respect laws and allow the courts to go on with processes until they reach the end. But we want to take a note that such things in this town seem to be things that are usually happening. This is not for the first time that such a case is taking place here. We had another one which is called the KFC kind of case. The other one, another one where a person was fishing, was murdered. So we must be watching this city very closely. And we say South Africa is one and people must behave as such. But all after this, the law must take its course and the law must be respected. The case has been postponed to the 7th of February to allow both the state and the defense to present more evidence in court. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Masilela in Problesdal, Limpopo.